Hi everyone, welcome to Maybelline's Makeup Loft. My name's Sarah Bridget and this is my second video here with Maybelline for you guys. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about brows. So as you can see, I wasn't blessed with the gift of amazing eyebrows, so I've had to work a little harder at achieving a nice brow shape for myself, but that has allowed me to become so much more skillful in that area. So I thought today I would walk you through some tips and tricks when it comes to perfecting your brows. There are of course so many different ways to do your brows and so many different products to do them with that I find that a lot of people get overwhelmed by the amount of choice that they have and they're really not sure Sure what's best for them. So I'm going to break it down into three different products which are just the most common products that you'll find for eyebrows. There is the powder, the pencil and the pomade. So powders are great for filling in thin or sparse brows. Literally all it does is create a shadow underneath the hairs which are amazing for making them look thicker or fuller and also if you have some gaps it helps to fill them in still achieving a really nice soft look. So next up is the trusty old pencil. A lot of people absolutely love a pencil because unlike a powder or a pomade, it doesn't require a separate brush. So if you really want to get amazing brows and you do love using a pencil, I would say there are three things to consider. First of all, it is the amount of pressure that you apply. Second of all, it is the motion that you use. And third of all, it is how steady your hand is. So if you're applying heavy pressure when you're drawing on your eyebrows with a pencil, it can just make them look a little unnatural. So it's always handy to have a pencil with a spoolie on the end, like this Maybelline Master Precise Brow Pencil. This one is amazing because any little mistakes you make, or if you are a little heavy handed, you can just brush them away with this little spoolie. In terms of the motion that you might use when you're using a pencil to draw on your eyebrows, I always draw it in small flick motions in the same direction of the hair growth, which means that you're mimicking a brow hair rather than drawing one thick line. So the last brow product I want to touch on is a pomade, which is my personal favorite method of doing my brows because I'm super oily skinned. So the amazing thing about pomades, just like this one, I have the Maybelline Tattoo Brow. It is water resistant, which means that for oily skinned people or for people who are prone to sweating, this is probably going to become your best friend. So the thing about these is that they essentially, they're kind of like a gel eyeliner, but for your brows. So they're extremely long wearing and you would just apply them with an angled brow. So with the Maybelline one, you actually get an angled brow brush and it has a spoolie on the end, which makes it really easy to apply. So for me personally, I love to give my brows a little bit of extra definition with a pomade. So I just take my angled brow brush and I just use flicking motions anywhere that I have any tiny gaps and I just create little hair strokes there. So I suppose I should show you how I do my brows. So let me zoom you in and I will get started. So the first thing I do when I'm starting my brows is I always brush them through with a spoolie. So I just brush them up so that I can see the true shape of them, so that I can identify any gaps and so that I know exactly where to trace. So taking my Maybelline Brow Precise Pencil in the shade Blonde, I'm just going to trace underneath my brow exactly where all of the brow hair starts, just connecting them all along. And rather than drawing one long thick line, I'm just going to use little hair stroke motions to make my way across. So So now that I've cleaned up the bottom of that brow, I'm just going to take the exact same pencil, but I'm going to use short flicking motions to mimic hair strokes, and I'm just going to do those in the exact direction of growth. So as you can see, through the front of my eyebrow, my hair grows upwards, but then as you come towards the middle and the outer edge, they start growing outwards like that. So with my pencil motions, I'm just going to follow that exactly so that you get the most natural effect. So through the front of my brow, just going to do upwards flicking motions. And then as we come along and the hair growth changes, I'm just going to go sideways. So that is the difference in my brows so far. They do look pretty good already, but I love to finish with a pomade just to give a little more dimension to my brows. So I'm going to take my tattoo brow pomade in the shade Top and I'm just going to use my brush to pick up the product, but I'm just gonna wipe off the excess on the back of my hand. So looking at my brow now, already I can see that it could be more defined along the bottom, and I can also see that there could be a little extra dimension through the middle of it. So I'm just gonna do little brow strokes throughout and then clean up that bottom line.
So my brows have obviously come a very long way in this short tutorial, but there are a few more things that you can do to clean up your brows. The first thing is to carve them out with the concealer. So if it's not quite as bright or as straight as you want along the bottom of your brow, you can take a concealer. I always use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Just take a little bit of that on a concealer brush and tidy them up that way. And then the last thing that you can do is to add a little bit of highlight to your brow bone. So I have been using the Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade Molten Rose Gold. And I'll just take that on a small fan brush and pop that on the arch of my brow. So this is the finished brow look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. All of these techniques are really, really simple. You can implement them into your everyday routine. So I really hope they helped. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and I will see you guys next time.